Hello something guys, welcome to your 15th MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about relational data. Okay, so in this tutorial I want to step away from the idea of Mario characters and uh, adopt something a little more typical of a website and that's going to be authors and books. So we could for example have an author database website which lists you a lot of authors and the books they write. So I want to start looking at something like that now. So we could have our authors with name, age, books, you know, information about the authors. And then we could also have information about each book as well, such as a title, number of pages, genre, etc. So you might think because we've got information about authors and, author, uh, and also information about books, that we're going to need two collections, in essence, a collection of authors and a collection of books. And this is typically the way that we do it in a relational database. We'd perhaps have something like this, a authors table and a books table. And in the authors table, we've got a list of authors with information about them. And in the books table, we've got a list of books with information about them. And we might have an author ID next to each one of these books so we can look up the author. So that's how we would do it in a typical relational database. But with MongoDB, we don't need to do that. We can just create one collection, authors, and then our related data we can nest inside this collection. So for example we've got an authors collection and we have a list of authors. This is our author ID, then another author down here, author ID and so forth down the list. So we've got a load of different author IDs and each one has information about the author such as the name, age and a list of books which would be an array right? So as well as that the books which are nested inside this property right here in this array. So each object that's in this array has its own properties as well. Information about the book. So in this array we'd have these different objects with book IDs and then each one of those would have a title property for example and the number of pages they have. So we're nesting all of this data right here into the author's collection, right? So it's directly within that author. Pretty cool, right? So if we just take a look at the object kind of representation of one of our authors, which is stored in the author's collection, it would look something like this. Name, Patrick, age 38, books, and then we have an array. And in each of these objects, each of these book objects, we have a title and we have the number of pages. Now, this might not be the number of pages, it probably isn't, I've just made these up, but you get the idea. We've got two different book objects in here in this array. Now, I want you to notice something because when we come to make this model and the schema, we're going to talk about it more then, but if you look at the author, it has this particular kind of structure, this scheme, if you like, where it's got a name, which is a string, an age, which is a number, and books, which is an array of these objects right here. And these objects right here, they also have a structure, right? So each of the books has a structure and the author itself has a structure. So just keep that in mind, because when we come to create a schema, we might kind of split these up and actually make two schemas. Just one model, just the author's model, but it encompasses two schemas, the author schema and the book schema. And we're gonna see that in a minute. All right then, so we wanna create this new author model. So let's go to models and create a new file and call this author.js. So because I'm super lazy, I'm gonna just copy all of this, which is in the Mario car.js file because we created a model there. I'm just gonna paste it in. So this bit at the top is going to stay the same because we need Mongoose and we're going to use a schema as well. So first of all, let's change this name. Instead of const Mario Kart schema, let's call this author schema and create a schema for the authors. So inside this, we're going to have a title or rather a name because the author is going to have a name, right? And that's going to be a string. And instead of weight, we'll do age. That's going to be a number. And then also we're going to have this other property, which is going to be the books, right? And we know that's going to be an array, but we're not going to start listing things, our books and stuff in here like this in an object. Instead, what we're going to do is create a new schema called a book schema. And we'll come back to this in a minute. So let me just copy this because we're going to create another schema up here above. And we're going to call this book schema like so. And this time it's going to have a title, the name of the book, which is a string. Then what I'll do is say pages, which is going to be a number, the number of pages. And that will do. So let's get rid of that comma. 
So now we've got a book schema. So when we create a new author, it knows that it should expect this kind of structure. And the books right here is going to be an array. And it's going to be an array of book schema objects. So what we can do is just copy that and paste it in there. So then when it comes to this, it can look at the book schema and say, OK, well, the objects with, uh, within this array are going to be this structure right here based on this schema. So we're nesting this schema, if you like, within this one. Pretty cool. So now we've got our two uh, schemas. We can create the actual model. So we'll change this to author. And that's equal to mongoose.model. And this is going to be called author as well. Remember, mongoose is going to pluralize this when it comes to create a collection. So our collection is going to be called authors. OK. And then this is going to be based on the author schema. So I'll say author schema. Then we'll just export the author at the end like so. So just to quickly run through again, we've got an author schema. Then within that schema, we've got a books property. This is an array. And the array is going to be made up of objects which follow the book schema, which we've defined right here. Then we've created the model itself. We've said author equals mongoose.model. This is going to be the collection name when it's pluralized, and it's based on the author schema, which is right here. Then we're exporting this author model so that in the next tutorial, we can go ahead, make some tests, and create some authors and save them to the database with some nested book data.